Well, I really hate to think about my life without Richie McFarlane. I'm not sure where I would be. My parents were great parents, and I'm sure they would have provided for me, but I'm, I could have ended up somewhere else in a, in a state school or, and not gotten the one-on-one care and attention that, that I needed. And that's what made Richie McFarlane so wonderful, because it was in our own community, founded by mothers who were concerned about their children. My name is Amy Dillenbeck, and I'm one of the original students at the school um, 40 years ago. Once I got into my medical training, I realized how important quality of life was to individuals and how important it is for them to have some voice in their cancer management. And I look forward to that in my assessments of patients. Overall, my feelings for the Cancer Center um, run deep because my care here was excellent and I felt that the staff was top notch. They really were looking out for your best interest. And um, I did meet a few people after I was diagnosed in my community that were also diagnosed with breast cancer and ironically um, had never thankfully had to experience coming into this facility and I just told them, I said, from the second you're going to pull up to the building in the parking lot, you're going to look at this building and you're going to have a warm and fuzzy feeling. No child ever needs to have a decayed tooth and, and some of them suffer terribly from dental disease and it's unnecessary and it's the fault of all of us who don't provide the education, the preventive care and the access to treatment that they need because we could save time and energy and pain if we could get to them early, teach their parents how to care for them and care for their children's teeth and make it just part of their daily lives. It's doable. I, I do have uh, a part of my job that is the most rewarding and that is when I um, see a child for um, dental services, preventive services, and uh, they open their mouth and they've had, they have the sealants retained from the prior year that I've placed and or they have um, restorative work done from case management, um, you know, from working with the parents and the dentists and, they, um, and the um, H&H Foundation, the parents were able to go and get that care and they open their mouth and it's healthy. And to think of what that child's mouth looked like the year before and I'm thinking, oh, how are we, how are we gonna approach this? And a full year goes by and the child is in um, perfect health. Fair Tide was an organization that I was not familiar with. And what really made a difference in my life was when I found out what their mission was. I just knew them as a storefront. I wasn't even aware that they had a mission. And their mission touched my heart. It just, it was amazing. Aside from, from the physical benefits and, and getting out there and actually you know, playing sports and doing these activities, They've really helped me sort of live a more full life in the community. Um, you know, just the simple things from, um, you know, being more confident in social situations, um, being comfortable meeting somebody or talking about your disability with somebody that doesn't understand it, um, or just being able to speak in front of people. That's something that I'm much more comfortable with now than I was before. Um, so, I, you know, the social aspect is huge. When I first met Dave and Sandy, I wanted to know if they had pets and whether they, whether I could have them too. Um, I wanted to know if I, if I could have my own room and have some of my stuff here. Not all of it, but some of it. A lot of it I have in storage, but I'm going to get rid of it because I'm starting anew. The Founding Fathers, um, initiated the bank or uh, started the bank as a uh, uh, state chartered independent mutual savings bank and mutuality is the core of what creates the culture here at this bank it's it allows us to focus on the customer and the community and not on shareholder returns it's really been the key of what created the, the culture here at this bank so the history has a lot to play with that that was a big thing with Wayne you could lay that all out and and everything would come out right other than just guessing at it so you know, I could do the bulwark, but we can do the brains. <laughs> I didn't even know about the project, actually. Dick was on it, and so he approached me one day and said, hey, we need another member to uh, work on the bridge that we're trying to rebuild. So I thought, well, 
okay, I'll get a warm body. It's interesting because I look at it and go now, it was really a horrible sight. <laughs> Probably worse than you know you even wanted to uh, to think about. But it's not on a, on a major thoroughfare in Hampton Falls, so I don't see it every day, and I don't have to look at it all the time. But it's kind of transformed itself from a relatively nasty-looking place to a little wonderland down there now. So it's been a great beautification project uh, for that little corner of the world. What makes Worth worthwhile? is that we bring a quality of care that is matching what is in existence in the West to parts of the world where they couldn't possibly get that kind of care, uh, number one. Number two, we do it for uh, either a very small fee or no, no charge at all so that anyone can afford it, even the poorest of poor. If I had to pinpoint one thing that camp really, really helped me with, it was being comfortable with who I am and where I fit in this world. I think that what makes Camp Gun a little special is that there's nice counselors, there's nice kids, and there's lots of games. <laughs>